Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Brenda, and I'm going to be the interviewer. Yeah, so first I would want to know from you, what was you, who was your best speaker during the World Cup? What did you like most, and who was that speaker who spoke really into you? That there are certain things that you have seen that you want to do after what you say. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, my name is uh, Paul Ibn-Sakseniaka and I run a consultancy, SEO consultancy agency and I also design websites. Uh, today's World Cup has been one of the greatest I've had so far. I think this is the third. I attended the first one in uh, Mangake and uh, so this one uh, is showing that uh, probably we I'm not, uh, I'm not alone because sometimes we think we are alone in the field but then when I see so many people here I feel fine, and uh, my greatest uh, kind of, uh, the best speaker, I may not remember the name, but it was more about uh, affiliate marketing, because to me, it means a lot to be able to make some money from using my press. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, there's something else I want to ask. What did you love most? What did you learn most? That there is something you'd want, you'd want to share with another person out there. Uh, what I learned most from today's uh, session, of uh, all the three days session we have been here, um, yeah, I think uh, the best thing was uh, about uh, the community coming up together. And um, Uganda is one of those places uh, you, you always struggle to get some information on uh, certain topics. But when I see this community coming together, it shows there is thirst and people wanting to publish our information and uh, to me that's already satisfied. Wow, I like the part where you talk about community. So I would want to know, now that you have learned a lot from this World Cup, what are you going to do out there for the other community? Because there are people out there who need the information that you have. How are you going to be able to share it with them so that it can benefit them? Thank you very much. Uh, I think the major ingredient in the whole community here is uh, sharing, because uh, I think there is a lot of information that uh, has been shared today, which could be so much expensive for us to get it. But uh, seeing uh, a community whereby everyone is sharing, irrespective of where they come from. So I really think um, Coming up together is one of the things that I, I really like and I always be here as long as it will be here. And uh, I also will carry the, the spirit of sharing, you know, so that others benefit from the same. What you meant is how are you going to do that with them? Yeah. How are you going to share it with them? Because people need to know. Yeah. How I'm going to share this information is uh, I, I have sessions actually where I take through a few youth from uh, Kawala Gala where I can uh, transform some information that I've learned from here. So I, I continually would want to share this information um, by teaching them to do the same, like publishing their information. I hope I've answered you. Thank you so much. I think I'll get the next. Uh, Well, I'm Hannah Smith, and I'm a developer. I have my own digital agency. It's called Simple Technology. And I'm living in Kigali, Rwanda. And when I saw this conference in the WordPress dash dashboard, I decided to come out to Kampala for the weekend. Wow, well, that's really amazing. Yeah. So I would want to find out what you love most. About WordPress? Yeah, about everything that you learned here. What was your best? Let's see. Well, it was really interesting to see the strength of the WordPress community in Kampala. So I was not expecting there to be this many people. Um, it's a very large meetup, and so that was exciting to see. Um, and then I just love WordPress because I think it's very empowering. It's a tool that helps people spread their ideas, tell their stories, and then get out, out there about their businesses um, in a fun way that's accessible to people. And so I loved being part of it and seeing how people in Kampala are coming together to empower other people with WordPress. Okay.
Okay, that's interesting. Now I have something personal to ask you. Okay. Now, did you like the food? Did I like the food? Yeah. So I really like Ugandan food. I know it's kind of simple, but it's um, salt of the earth, and I think it's very um, hearty and it's very satisfying. That's brilliant. Uh, who was your best speaker? Just for the short time you've seen all this, who was your best, and what did he say that you loved most? So I was really impressed with the get collaboration session that we had um, for the advanced users this afternoon because I studied computer science in university and when we would go over how to use GitHub, it was just so inscrutable. You could not figure out how it was supposed to work. Um, and so I was really impressed by that instructor's, um, his ability to break down the subject and make it accessible and teach you how to use it. So it wasn't just a theory, but it was something you felt that you could go out and do. And then also from what you learned and from what you saw when you were able to come, what was your best session during the outcome? Let's see. Session, um, it was just as we started to talk, let's see, the instructor he went, he showed he walked us through his GitHub. And so we got to see the basics of building the theme from the back end um, and how to get started with plugins. Um, and again, just going through how the arrays worked um, or what different types of variables were in them, it was really accessible um, and it made it seem like it was something that I could go do. That's great. Now, I believe you yeah, really enjoyed this, mm -hmm. yeah? But then I would want to know, will you be able to come back next year or would you really want to? Because if you have said this is amazing, you want to be a part of also the next event. So I'm only in Kigali until February, and after that I have no idea where on this planet I will be. Um, but I really like Kampala, this is my second time here. I was here two years ago. So absolutely, if I get a chance to be here, I'll be here. Okay, that's really good. Hi, my name is Charlotte Beauvoisin, and I'm a blogger. My blog is called Diary of Mzuhu, and it's all about travel in Uganda particularly, but also in East Africa. And of course, it's a WordPress blog. Oh, that's great. Are you part of the WordPress community? Uh, are you already part of the community? I'd, I'd like to say yes, because this is the second event, and I was here for the whole of the last one as well, and I was on the panel. And uh, I, I'm not very good with the technology side of it, but WordPress has really made a huge difference to my work life. I've been using it for eight years now. And I also recommend it to other people a lot. And uh, so it's really nice to be accepted amongst this group of people who, who are much more technical than me generally. But they just tell me a little bit about the capabilities of WordPress. Even if I don't understand them, I know all that functionality is there. So yeah, I feel like I'm part of the WordPress community. In so many contributions to community. I would love to know what, what was that and how are you going to use this information that you have picked from here to help them more because I'm familiar with the area of the museum group. So I believe there is more that you have been sharing out there. Would you just share just a glimpse of just one thing that you want to share even what you have learned from here with the rest of the community? The focus of my talk was about social media, email marketing, all the different tools that you can have to promote a blog or a WordPress website. And uh, I, I had a very short period of time, but I, I do actually do that training for companies and particularly for the tourism industry in Uganda. So I'm always available to do that and to do one-to-one -one marketing as well. And if anybody wants to contact me on Twitter, WhatsApp, Facebook, I'm always available if anybody has questions. I would also want to know uh, the story about how you started with WordPress. What is that thing that impacted that you kept going higher? Just a, a short story. Well, I wrote my blog. My first blog article was uh, 10 years ago in December, December 20, 2008, and it was on Blogger. And it was only on Blogger because <coughs> I, I didn't know anything about blogging, so I just had to start somewhere and I had a Google account already. And then after two years, a friend of mine who was more advanced than me said, what are you doing? You've got to use WordPress. It's like the number one recommendation he had. And I'd already found that Blogger was really restricting. I couldn't really do very much with it. 
And then as soon as he introduced me to WordPress, I'm like, there's this whole world out there, and it's so accessible, it's so easy, it's free. And um, so that really just gave me ambition, I think, the drive and motivation, because I realised I could become a professional blogger without investing a lot of money in the technology, without needing bespoke development and so on. So it was a real like, entry point into professional blogging, so it's, it's been a huge advantage for me. And uh, I have a last question for you. Yeah, you seem to know a lot about this. Yeah, and I believe the speakers who have been kind and sharing. Yeah, what was your best? What did you love most, and who was your best speaker that really impacted something in you? I think there have been a lot of really great speakers and some of them I, I've seen for uh, last year. I think the one that, the person that really stood out to me were, was Arthur Cassirier. I've seen him speak before but SEO is, is, a big, is what I'm doing at the moment. I've got an SEO expert looking at every aspect of my site and so everything that Arthur said I'm thinking, yeah I'm doing that or no, oh gosh I'm not doing that, I've got to make sure I do that as well next. So. So for me, it was really timely to have this presentation today and I'm going to really try and implement everything you suggested.